All right, I did a tour of my tool trailer, so I just thought I would do a little tour of my box for insurance. And I don't know, I think this idea is pretty cool. Um, so we can start over there. I uh, got this for $30 and this for $10. Um, they're just old filing cabinets. They serve as great storage. Over here, I've got um, scrapers and some big bars, pry bars. Um, I want to screw this in, but I haven't committed yet. I wanted to test out, make sure I like this placement. I'll probably pop some screws in there soon. Up here, I use this kind of for my truck um, parts. And I got all my oil ready. Um, fuel filter, power steering fluid, some ball joints that need to be returned um, and some miscellaneous bins with parts for it, some buckets and this stuff is kind of random. And I just did my uh, ball joints and hubs on my F350. So now I have a steering stabilizer I need to throw in there, but I want to get the truck undercoated first. Start off with this top drawer. This is all my detail and cleaning supplies. Um, it's not the most organized. Uh, I kind of want to have rows of stuff. Um, sorry, I've been painting all day. My hands are kind of dirty. I have some, I really like this Griot's stuff lately. Um, I have their synthetic clay bar. Really like the way that turned out. This is all my products and then all of my brushes and supplies I guess. On to the next drawer. This is all of my paint. Um, I have quite a few spray paints from Plasti Dip, primers, all types of colors, some clear, some roll-on stuff I painted a uh, tool trailer with, and then some caulk and some spare brushes. This is all everything kind of to do with uh, painting. This is kind of my painting floor. And stuff like this is really messy when it's kind of out on a shelf. So I really like these. Um, these are both Han brand, which I did some research on this idea before I went through with it. And everybody said that those are better than the rest to do this with. Um, this is kind of miscellaneous parts. Most of it are from my dirt bike. Um, I do have some trailer lights I need to use up. I have a 2007 WR450 that I've got lots of miscellaneous parts for. And then last is kind of this storage. I have a bunch of extra bags right here and a bunch of shop towels I got from, I got a pack from Costco for a good deal. Um, so I just keep those there. Next is this little one. I got this one first. I wanted to paint this one kind of gray or black. This one came in black, um, but I thought it's going to get scratched up and everything anyways. So this one is all of my oil change stuff for my dirt bike. I like to have two filters on hand, some funnels, um, all my fluids, some coolant. It's kind of general maintenance, I guess, for the dirt bike. Next drawer... It's kind of my shop consumables. So I have Loctite W40, brake clean, grease, you know, JV Weld. Everything that's kind of consumable. Dirt bike filter oil. Dirt bike stuff. This is for my, uh, I kind of, I run a small landscape company. So this is some two-stroke oil and some grease and oil for um my landscape tools and then last drawer i did rebuild the motor on my wr because i cracked the case right here so i did replace that side have some springs the old jug um i used the old piston as a card holder at work business card holder so yeah, those both turned out really good. Lots of storage that would otherwise be messy if this were a shelf kind of like those. Um, there's 
there's pros and cons, but pretty happy with cost versus utility. Um, as for over here, uh, Milwaukee level, uh, little Milwaukee level. These are some drawer organizers for my Husky box. And paper towel holder for my shop towels. I like those a lot. And then just a magnet. Um, and then a light, I really like that light. I got the, uh, I think this is a 52 inch Husky box. Um, I decided to do the, um, the wood top instead of the stainless top because I like, it doesn't kind of get scratched, even though over time it might get stained from oils and stuff. Um, yeah, I like it. I've got two batteries here for Cedus on um, a battery tender. And then I have an old entertainment center um, that actually has Bluetooth. So I, I have the speaker bar and the sub. And that makes for pretty good sound here in the shop when I'm just working or hanging out. All right, this is my Husky box. Up in here, I was gifted this um, toolkit, this Husky box. This is one of my first toolkits, um, and it is kind of bulky to keep them in here. I took it apart and laid it out in here, and there is a lot of like space that could be eliminated with getting organizers, but I just really like the way that everything's labeled, you know? I have these extra compartments and then everything from sockets is labeled along the plastic. So I just kind of kept them and I like the way it keeps everything organized. Um, this was an old, um, it's got a three eighths drive kind of, it's, I guess it's a wrench, I don't know. But I just thought it was kind of cool. It was my great grandpa's. And I have some miscellaneous um, wrenches in here and some drivers. And this is all my wobble sockets, U joint sockets, whatever you call them, from half inch to quarter inch. Um, kind of those weird extensions like these adapters and stuff. And then I've gotten by with. All these sockets, they've been pretty good. They're a uh, Husky, and I really like the the wrenches and sockets. You know, I'm just a hobbyist. I don't do this every day, so they serve serve me well. As for here, I have a half-inch impact um, Milwaukee. So I have the Husky impact sockets um, for SAE and metric. Um, and I really like both of them. Um, they... Uh, yeah, have any problems with them? Some miscellaneous, um, just I guess socket trays and stuff that I just have. So don't even use these a ton, but I've had to use them for specialty stuff on my dirt bike. And here is a, I really like these for working on my on my dirt bike. They I have a eight to fourteen two handle set. I just like the way they. Uh, um, I can't, like, over-tighten anything on my bike with those and get them nice and snug. Here is just some extra wrenches I was given. These were from my grandpa, too. I don't use these a lot, but they're just nice to have extras or something. Here's the Icon 24 karat gold 3.8 drive wrench. I just thought this was kind of cool. It doesn't really get used. Something cool to have in the box and something excuse to try out icon brand which i don't know i i think it's pretty good um this is kind of an extension tray this came out of one of my milwaukee pack outs box bins that i don't i don't use this bin in there anymore um and then i have this isn't the fuel but i have the electric ratchet and i really like this a lot it has the quarter inch adapter but it's 3h drive i really like this for working on my dirt bike doing some little projects and then these are a bunch of mini breaker bars these were also my great grandpa's just kind of cool nice to have if you need one but most of the time i'm grabbing a ratchet instead like i said this is a the fuel half inch impact i love this for working 
on my truck. It's really great and has lots and lots of torque, especially because I don't have a uh, uh, pneumatic setup. So that's kind of it for this drawer. My next drawer has kind of just a bunch of wrenches and I have my vice grips here. I have a lot of Pittsburgh. Um, I kind of just got them, but they're not the best, but they get the job done. I really like the way how solid this Milwaukee one is. Um, these Husky wrenches came in that kit that I took apart in the first drawer. Um, so then I went and picked up these organizers. Um, I don't like all this dead space here, but if I ever get a big, bigger sockets and stuff, I can line them up. So that's SA metric. And then I have a metric icon ratcheting set with the flex head, which I like. They're pretty good for working on my bike, you know, my truck. Doesn't really take metric, so I'd like to get the SAE set eventually, but these were nice just to try out because I use the metric more. Some crescent wrenches. These are again Pittsburgh, so they're nothing fancy, but they get the job done. And I don't have to touch these a ton. And then just some of those. Oh, and I have some mini. These are kind of old, but they're nice if you're in a pinch. So, so yeah, then those are hexes. Then here's kind of my screwdrivers, fires drawer. Um, as for my screwdrivers, I have all my Phillips stuff here, flat head here. Um, these are all my picks and then specialty screwdrivers like um, Torx and hexes and just kind of miscellaneous. Um, this is a mini plier set. There's it's kind of a case that opens up. There's six pliers, three on each door. Um, I really like they just kind of had a nice organizer there on sale for Christmas. So I kind of thought that it would be nice to have something, some smaller pliers for getting in tight spaces. Um, impact driver. This is kind of one of those hammer impacts. Um, Tusk brand. I've had to use it a few times. It's been nice to have. Um, precision screwdrivers, flathead, and Phillips. Two bottle openers. Um, this came in the screwdriver set, and then I've seen this at Harbor Freight. I just think they're kind of cool thing to have. These are all my tin snips. Um, kind of, yeah, just I have kind of a weird amount of them, but I just can't throw them away. And this is a Harbor Freight organizer for my pliers. I think it does. Good job, I like the way it looks. I have anywhere from needle nose, big pliers, some wire crimpers and strippers. Oh, and then some of those, uh, those pin expander things. Um, scissors, yeah. I like the liners that all the drawers came with. Keep it nice and, nice and good on there. I need to find a better way to put my screwdrivers, but it works for now. Now this drawer is a little more miscellaneous. I kind of tried to prioritize it from most grabbed and clean down to least grabbed and maybe a little more miscellaneous. I have a bunch of punches, pencils, an air checker, uh, Sharpies, all that stuff there. Some brushes. These ones, are, these ones probably could go in the trash, but some good ones. Um, some wire, some tie wire. This is just kind of nice and handy to have. I guess another pair of uh, scissors that should go out the drawer. Um, tapes, aluminum tape, electrical tape, masking tape, and uh, wire tape. Um, mounts and hammer, stapler with some staples. Um, this is a tool for doing a clutch on your bike. Um, some squares and right angles. Um, precision caliper elect electronic. I really like that when I was doing the valves on my bike. Um, I kind of kept this to try and be measure measuring corner. 
with those and these are kind of fillers they're just uh like uh for rounding out caulk in baseboards and for installing vehicle wrap and stuff like that some soldering um solder and some feeler gauges and a light and then this drawer kind of gets a little messy um you know this is kind of back stock um i have my stickers you know those are those are good to have on hand um these are kind of extra bins over here from my pack out box which i'll do a different video of um i really like the pack out system for keeping all my um m18 and m12 stuff and then bits and all that it's kind of all where all my drill and grinders and everything stays in there so buying m12 stuff i have some extra um chargers but i i don't like those ones because i i use the ones with the m18 m and the m12 in there extra cases like i said this is a u.s general um mat so when i'm working on my dirt bike i can put this on the seat or if I'm working on my truck, I can put it in the engine bay, just hold some parts. Craftsman fender mat, working on my truck. These are kind of miscellaneous pliers and tools when I did HVAC. Uh, some weird scrapers, stuff that I can't throw away, but I don't use. Some rivets and an extra bolt kit for my dirt bike and just a miscellaneous organizer. And and here I have some, I really like these Harbor Freight kits, just nice in case you need some terminals, um, cotter pins, hose clamps, nuts and bolts. Just good to have on hand. Same with this uh, O-ring assortment. And then I have some Tusk tools, compression tester. Then this one's the the brake bleeder, and then this one, I can't remember. Oh, the valve spring compressor. And then for Motion Pro, I have the chain tool. This is nice to have if you have a bike, putting on new chains and stuff every once in a while. And then the Warp 9, the, the torqueable sport spoke wrench to do all the little nipples on the, the bike tire, the wheel. And then below that, I have a valve shim kit for redoing valves, stickers, important. Kind of a miscellaneous drawer, some larger tools, spare parts, soft clothes, husky drawers, I really like those. The old hubs off my truck that I just, I just barely replace any, take those to scrap yard. My soldering. Soldering iron lives in this case. This is all kind of miscellaneous. I have another battery tender. This one's for my dirt bike. And Ziploc. Speaker I don't use. Zip ties. This is a really good, really good kit. Zip ties. Miscellaneous pieces of stuff. So yeah, that's kind of a tour of my little section in the garage. And yeah, thank you.